Hey loves, this is Vivian. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be trying the latest additions from Huda Beauty. Yes, Huda has been bombarding us with so many products lately, one after the other, the other, and the other. And her advertisements are so amazing, so beautiful, that they invite you to buy her products because they all look so pretty, so gorgeous, that I'm like, I want that, I want that. But yes, as you can see, this is my final look using the newest products from Huda Beauty, which are the Resting Boss Face, which is a setting spray, the Nymph Not Your Mama's Pantyhose Bronzer All Over Highlighter, the Tantour, and the Lip Sets. Those four are the latest additions, besides the brush and the nymph brush, which I didn't get. Besides that, I will be using many other products from Huda Beauty that I will be telling you now. So if you like this look, this bronze goddess look, look at that. How am I shining? And I'm so contouring bronze at the same time. I'm so happy with this. So if you like it too, keep watching. So, the first thing that I have here is the Nymph. She has bragged so much about this product that I hope that it works as she says. This is the Not Your Mama's Pantyhose. That's the long for Nymph. And this retails for $49. It's quite expensive. The bottle is beautiful. Let's see what they claim about this product. I have the information here. That is available in three shades. I got Aphrodite, which is the medium one. It is an all-over face and body highlighter designed to give you radiant and looking skin that glows. That's the purpose. What else do you need to know? Nymph promises to give you flawless summer skin that feels smooth and hydrated without streaks or harsh lines. The water-based formula melts seamlessly into the skin to help blur imperfections leaving you with nothing but sun-touched shimmer that is both water and transfer resistant. I like that for the legs a lot because transfer resistant, if you're sitting on a couch or driving your car, there are some sprays that just spread everywhere and they are a mess. So that is a pro for this product. Something really important. Shake well before you use and apply quickly since that is important, as you spread the formula across the skin until your desired coverage is achieved. Then the next product that I have that was the latest latest was the Resting Boss Face Waterproof Setting Spray Matte. Um, it worries me a little bit that it's matte, I have dry skin, but let's see how it works. We have to give it a try and this retails for $32. What it is, an extra hole setting spray for the ultimate matte and waterproof finish in a non-aerosol spray. So it is waterproof too. What else you need to know? This extra hole scented setting spray. Scented. Ooh, danger for me. Let's see how this smells because I'm so allergic. It delivers a comfortable matte finish without leaving skin feeling dry. That's really important. It is inspired by makeup hack used by some drag queens who set their hard work and elaborate face makeup with hairspray for lasting hold. Wow, that's new for me. Hairspray for setting makeup? Hmm, curious about it. That's new for me, would be good to try. And this retails for $32. One of the latest additions is this Tantour, which by hearing it, you say you can define it as tan and contour all together in one. And this retails for $30 and it is available in five shades. I chose the medium one. Then also I have here the Tantour Sculpt and Shape brush and this retails for $28. I usually don't buy brushes, but this looks so cute and I'm like, I'm always in a rush. I want something that I just can grab and actually really works right away. So I want to try this. Another thing that was launched before all this stuff was this lipstick set. And these are the Demi Matte and Cream Lip Sets. And this retails for $25 and there are four lip sets available. I got Mogul and Bombshell and Days Layer and Venus. Each set features a full lip contour matte pencil, a mini liquid matte lipstick in a complimentary shade and a mini Demi Matte Cream Lipstick. That's what it is in here. Besides that, I have other products that I have bought before. Some of them I haven't tried them. 
yet and they are for example the Huda Beauty Winter Highlighter Palette and this retails for $45. I also got the Huda Beauty Ruby Obsessions Eyeshadow Palette. This actually retails for $27 at Sephora. I think it's pretty expensive for $27. Look, this is around three and a half inches, almost the size of my finger. So small for such a huge price, almost $30. It is really beautiful really pretty i love the colors and then i also have here the eyelashes the famous eyelashes these are the classic false lashes in lana number 10. they are very big so let's see how they work and then i also have the fall filter foundation this is available in 30 shades and this retails for 40 dollars i tried this only once i loved it i love the coverage but it was a little bit drying on my skin i have the overachiever concealer in the shade nougat and this retails for 30 dollars and this is my favorite concealer between this and the tarte shape tape this one really really gentle on my skin i love I love it so much this is so good many things to try here today actually three makeup products and a brush plus other stuff that i hear let's get started trying all this new stuff i'm so excited so let's get started with the makeup party when i'm ready for makeup so before starting all this process of makeup i applied some of this tatcha luminous dewy mist to my skin since i know that this foundation can be drying and i don't know about the primer as you can see my skin is really glowy that's what i want glowy skin from within okay let's try now the primer and this is meant to be used more for the body but huda says that this is amazing as a primer so let's see that it says that you have to shake it really well and apply it really quick. I have here the Morphe M03 from Jaclyn here and Morphe. And I'm going to be using this for nymph. Let's see how this works. It smells so good. It smells like coconut. I look that super bronzed <laughs> and it has to be worked so quick it's so patchy over here right now oh my gosh this is too dark for me anyways let's keep going this is so funny so I will have a glow from within <laughs> seriously it is there it's not moving anywhere so it's set a tiny bit wet tacky maybe it will dry out little by little so let's try the foundation and see what happens okay anyways let, let's keep going and i'm going to use the same brush and one thing that i do not like about this foundation is that it smells it has a perfume in it I feel that the primer is not letting the foundation move. It's getting like stick to it. So I will have to stipple it little by little to make it work. But it actually covered that disaster that I was having before with the bronzer. Ooh, now we're talking. This is way better. Ooh, what a relief. Oh, that was so funny my god well it was covered and i see that like bright light coming from within which is good i don't know if you can see that glow that comes from underneath that's so cute mm, it worked i'm so happy next time i will apply just a little bit less this is how i'm looking as you can see i have that glow that comes from underneath like 
that's the nymph even though it looked like a disaster at the end it worked well so next step the concealer and i have here the shade nuga the overachiever concealer i love this so much so much it's so amazing and this concealer works way better with the fingers using the finger I usually put too much and this time I applied less With this foundation, the concealer does not move as fast and easy as with other foundations. But as you can see, it works wonders. How it brighten up my complexion, my under eyes is so pretty. Barely any wrinkles shown. You would say it is weird that she uses the fingers, but it covers way better. And you waste less product with your fingers, honestly. Concealer done, so I'm going to do my eyebrows out of camera and I will be back with you. Eyebrows done, so let's continue with the next step. And I'm going to use some of the nymph over my body to try it on. I didn't buy the brush, it is really expensive and I had this one that I haven't even used. Look how pretty. And it's something kind of similar, it's so soft. So let's see how this works this time. I'm going to add just a little bit on my chest and spread it all over. We saw that this is too, this colors a lot as you can see. Whoa boy, this is a lot, this is a lot and yes it gets patchy way too quick. You see it concentrates in areas and it doesn't spread. You have to work it out little by little. Oh, way too fast either one. Oof. Mm -mm. It's too patchy. Way too patchy. In camera, it doesn't look the same as in person. I was thinking about this differently. Let me try my brush. This is synthetic, so so see if it works better. It is more sturdy. Maybe that's why. But still, I have some patches that look so ugly. Oh my gosh! Kind of look like roasted. Yeah, there are patches that do not blend. Even I do it really hard. Maybe if I re-wet them, they will work. Let me see. I have one here. Yes. Once it dries, it does not move anywhere. So you have to run. And the brush has to be really sturdy. Let's wet these patches over here. Oof. It is hard to apply. Still, it's patchy. See like patches of gold that do not blend. I look like if I went to the beach and got a super tan. Which is pretty though. Looks so natural. But you need a very stiff brush and work it out so fast. Like fast motion. You can see streaks patchy streaks that do not move but it looks pretty i look with a beautiful tan but it's hard to apply so far it is pretty but so hard to blend oof that was like a marathon then 
I'm going to contour, tan tour. That's the correct word. And I said that I'm going to use the shade medium. This is how it looks. Beautiful, compact, glass looking, but acrylic compact. And look how it, this came in. This came with this scratch inside too. I don't know why. So let's do the tan tour. Here we are. It is fluffy and so pretty. Oh, they feel amazing. You can contour by doing a fine line over here like this. Or you can do more of a tanning effect by doing lawyer lines like this. You see? So this has to be blended quick as I saw in a video from Huda because it dries out and look how beautiful. Ooh. And then this is more like a tan. Comment below which one do you like best, the contour or the tan shape. I think that depending on the case, I want to do something less informal and be more like natural tan look, I will go with this one. If I want to look really sculpt, like really sharp, I will go with this one. So let me know below which one you like the best. I'm going with this one and more bronzy. With just a tiny bit is enough, so I'm going to fix up this side and apply a little bit more. This is so pretty. So far, this is winning. The nymph scared me out. And then do some lines over here. And over here. And blend the brush is really adequate for this it helps a lot works really well with the product oh this is precious this really works and it's a time saver I like it and then we can add some over here to look like slimmer get some from the top of your face and underneath to look thinner and over here oh this is so pretty so pretty I love it this is winning so far and let's do some contour over here so let's use the smaller part and we can do some contour by doing this over here to make those bones pop and some over here to have some cleavage you can barely see it I have a tank top so there you go. And some over here to look even skinnier. And then diffuse it. Blend it with the rest. Yay, here we go. Showing some more bones now. Looking skinnier. Look how it looks, really natural. I'm loving this tan tour. And we need to cover it, as I said, real quick, so it doesn't dry out. It has to be airtight. Oh, my favorite so far from the newest editions. Let's set all this. My favorite powders. Huda's baking and setting powders. And here I have the shade Sugar Cookie, which is the white one. And I always like to use that under my eyes. And where the concealer is, this is the JH07 from Morphe in Jaclyn Hill. I just apply a little bit because I cannot bake. I have dry skin. 
I don't even like to tap it into my skin. I'm like, just roll it and gently apply it. There you go. Here I have pound cake. Everything is looking really well, very pretty. Natural looking and the glow coming from underneath, which I like. And I'm going to use a little bit of this to lower the volume of this bronze a little bit and make it more even with my face. It's still there, but it looks more subtle and more natural because it was a little bit exaggerated now it's looking better as you can see I'm still glowing but it's more even with my face I have a streak of gold over here like in a line I don't know if you can see it this is way better look how nice bones popping everything nice looking natural with a natural glow which is really good okay so let's try the Achado palette it doesn't have the name so I'll go with this one down here as my base and this is the Morphe F27 oh how beautiful this is so pretty I'm taking it really high because I have hooded eyes and I want it to show at least a little bit. Let me do some swatches for you to see them. Hmm, this didn't color that much on my hands nor here. Let me do it again. Now it worked, but it was not a great amount of pigment. What I see over here. Hmm. which is weird I was expecting more basically almost three passes and as always I'm going to do one eye on camera and one out of camera to make the video shorter Wow! and next I'm going to try this dark pink over here this move in the outer corner and in the crease and for that I'm going to use the E17 some fallout I cannot go too shy with this because I need to build the pigmentation. This is so beautiful. I love it. Now it's taking a while to blend. And for the price, I will say that it's not worth it. And I'm sorry because I love Huda Beauty products, but I have tried cheaper palettes that work faster and color way better, that are way more pigmented than this. Beautiful colors, the only thing is that you need to do several passes to intensify the color. And now let's cut the crease. Just to intensify the other colors that are coming behind this. I'm going to cut my crease and I'm going to use again the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer. I have here the JH41 to apply the concealer and cut that crease. Creases are cut and we're ready for the next step. So next, I'm going to apply this color over here. This is kind of a tangerine. It looks like a tangerine over here. So I'm going to use a flat brush for that since I already have concealer. The M167. I'm going to try to cover only one third of the eye because I want to try more colors in the center. Now it's working better. looking way prettier 
Ooh, how cute. Let's go with the pink one. The pink foil one. Yeah, good decision, Vivian. Look how quick it colored this one. The foil ones look better and work better than the matte ones. This is all looking so pretty. Look at that, how gorgeous. And I'm going to do some eyeshadow under my eyes and I'm going to use this one from the corner. And this is the E36. And I'm going to use this dark color over here. And bring that eyeshadow under my eyes. Oh, that looks so gorgeous. let's continue with the eyelashes so before putting on the falsies i'm going to put some mascara on and for that i'm going to use my always favorite mark jacob mascara and i'm just going to apply the very light coat to erase any powder or eyeshadow that i have Ta -da! they're on no I'm joking, many people do that. I have the Lana, which are huge, as you can see. Oh my God. And I'm going to use the Bolor Lash Glue. To apply these falsies. I'm impressed on how big they are, honestly. They look so smaller and thinner online, which is closer. I'm going to grab it with my eyelash applicator. And put them over here in the center first. Edge on. And inner corner. There we go. And push them to the back a little bit. To make sure that they are hitting the edge. This was really fast. They are really gorgeous though. At least when the eyes open. <laughs> Ta-da! Lashes are on. When I look down, <laughs> they look so long. <laughs> but when I look up, I look like a pretty doll. And I have two lipsticks set. One is more nude and one is more pinkish. I will go with the pinkish one. Here I have Bombshell. The lip pencil in the shade Bombshell too. And Mogul. Let's see how they work. I'm going to try one over here. Oh, this is so beautiful. I'm supposed to use the liner first, but I want to see how the lipsticks work. And this was Mogo. And this one. Let's see. Mm, this is more peachy. And they're pretty similar in texture. One is supposed to be more matte and the other one demi matte. They look almost the same. But I will go with the pinker one. First, I'm going to apply the lip liner in Bombshell. It colored pretty well. And let's go with the lipstick. It colored really well and it has some kind of refreshing minty sensation. Mm -hmm. Beautiful lips. And now the highlighter, the winter highlighter palette. This is how it looks. It has this picture of Huda. Huda over here, the JH09. And here it says that this one, which is a cream called Frosted Kiss, is applied as a base. And then on top of it, you will apply the highlighter. I'm feeling like trying it with and without Frosted Kiss. That already has some highlighting in it. And I'm going to go with this one over here, Northern Nights. Really soft, I barely see it. Oh, now I can see it. Yeah, it's like a very light gold. Can you see it? So pretty. And same in the other cheek. Let me try without that. I, like, I prefer to use it without that, it was faster, way faster. I 
forgot the blush. Oh, let's go back to the blush. Into Huda's products that I forgot about this one. I'm just going to reapply because I cannot leave without my blush. Though with the tanning, you barely see it. The tan tour. Now, now we're talking. Now we're going to apply the highlighter. Yay! I love it. I'm going to put a little bit over here to make my face look like dewier, healthier, and shinier. And then I'm going to grab a small brush and do the tip of my nose. Ta da! And over here. Now, the end with the Huda Boss face. Here we go. And check it before using it, just in case. I'm going to set all this stuff. The lipsticks were supposed to be matte and demi matte, but this is not a matte in any means. It's kind of almost a very pigmented gloss. So let's try this stuff. Oh, oh. The smell is killing me. Okay. There we go. It's not that bad. It, the smell is not that bad. It looks like this perfume that she always adds like to the foundation and stuff like that. I, the sodding was like too strong, but as it was drying out, it's better. But I feel that I have perfume all over my face and my body. And I'm not into that kind of stuff due to my allergies. But look at that i would say that this is kind of similar to urban decays and somehow it wrote the nymph out it looks shinier instead of matte because i had the nymph underneath and that kind of made the nymph pop out Oof, it's not that matte it's not that matte i don't know if because i have the nymph underneath but look at my nose, looks really shiny. And it wasn't like that. So, to me, it's not that matte, which is somehow good because I was afraid that it would be too matte and then I would be too dry looking. But so far, wonderfully good. Yes, 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 yes. I'll be back with you. And here I am with this final look. As you can see, I have this more than bronzed goddess final look. Everything looks so pretty. The tantour, the nymph. I was scared using it. It was hard to blend, but at the end, look how nice it looks. Look how pretty. And that tantour, that was my favorite one. My most favorite out of the newest additions from Huda Beauty. It was like a miracle. So creamy and so pigmented at the same time. So easy to manage. That was my favorite one. I like the nymph. At certain point, I was like, this is going back to Sephora because I was hysteric because it was not blending. But once you get domain of it, you need a very sturdy brush to spread it. As I said, look how pretty I look. I have this JLo glow that everybody wants to have with just this, but it was hard to apply. Now that I see it at the end, everything all together, I love it, I like it, it's not going back to Sephora. I was afraid that the Huda Boss, since it says that it's matte, will dry my skin, and it was all the opposite. I will say that it compares a lot to Urban Decay Chill, this one. This is my favorite one, and right now, I would dare to say that if I'm not using this one, this one will be my next choice, absolutely. I liked it a lot. I don't know how it will work at a long range, after hours and hours, how it will hold and preserve the makeup. But for the moment, I liked it a lot. And after it dried, 
again everything is really pretty all the products worked wonderfully well so i'm so happy i'm so happy the lipsticks are so beautiful look at that my lips are so hydrated they are not dry it's supposed to be semi matte but it's not matte in any means i'm happy i'm happy especially with the newest addition so i hope you like this video please like and subscribe subscribe over here where you will see my picture and also enter my giveaway go to the description box below and click the link to enter my giveaway that's the official way to enter my giveaway and also share my giveaway and my videos with your family and friends see you soon bye, -bye.